What's going on YouTube? Welcome to my living room. I feel like we try something a little bit different out today. So if you're like me, you kind of bought into that cryptocurrency craze a little bit and I bought it at an all time high back in December. And uh, if we take a look at the market today, it's actually not so good. Also, one thing I noticed this morning was that CoinMarketCap has Lambos in their comparison currency. So you can see that Bitcoin has like 553 thousand Lambos in total supply value. See, in terms of investing, you know, it's probably pretty volatile and it's not very, you know, it's not a very safe investment. In terms of blockchain technology, that's not going away anytime soon. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to make your own cryptocurrency, how to make your own Josh coin or whatever coin you want to make. It's going to be based off the Ethereum network, the Ethereum blockchain. We're not actually going to make it on the main Ethereum network because that costs money. So we're going to make it on the Ropston, Ropston. It's a test network basically that you can just test different contracts and stuff on. You guys are passing out on me. In terms of code, there's no real code needed. We will use a little bit of code. We're gonna use Solidity, which is what you develop Ethereum with or Ethereum smart contracts with. Um, we'll have a pre-made set of code. You just need to go in there and change some values to be what you want for your coin. And then we're gonna be using MetaMask. MetaMask is a Chrome extension and it kind of protects your private key. So when you make a transaction, you put in your private key to submit the transaction and MetaMask takes that private key and stores it inside of the extension. So you click, you click on the, you click on the submit button rather than typing it in. So um, you can't be like key logged or fish like that. Speaking of key loggers, you know. So we're gonna be using Solidity, we're gonna be using MetaMask and then we're gonna use the Ropston test network. We're also gonna be using my Ethereum wallet. I know this is probably a lot of mumbo jumbo if you don't know crypto, but it's not a very, um, technically challenging process in terms of code and development. It's just a lot of steps to it, but you know, in the end, you can make your own, make your own currency, throw an ICO, be a millionaire, go to the moon, buy all the Lambos. <laughs> Anyways, let, let me show you guys how to do it. All right, so we're looking at my YouTube channel right now. The first thing we need is MetaMask. It's a Google Chrome extension, so you can just Google MetaMask. I already have the tab open here, so I'm gonna click it. Click Add to Chrome, Add Extension, Checking, once that's done, it'll open a new tab and then we have a Fox icon. So go ahead and click this Fox icon, accept their terms and conditions, scroll down, accept their terms and conditions, type in a password. Click create. It's gonna give you 12 words. These are gonna be the only way you unlock your account if you ever forget your password. So copy these words, paste them somewhere safe. Ideally you should write them down, put them on a piece of paper take them to your bank, put them in a deposit box. Okay, so after you've stored these words, click I've copied it somewhere safe. All right, let's go ahead and edit this account, rename it real quick so it's us. All right, click save. Now we need to change from the name, the main Ethereum network to the fake one or the test network. So click main, click this thing up here and click Robston test network. Now we're connected to that. We need to get some fake Ethereum so that we can push our coin to the to the network. So click buy, Robston test faucet. We get to request one fake ether. There's a little transaction there, which means it's processing. Okay, so now we need to go to myetherwallet.com. So open a new tab, myetherwallet.com. It says you are successfully connected. We can go to view wallet info. MetaMask missed, connect. So since we have MetaMask as our wallet here, we just click connect, it automatically connects to the Chrome extension. And then we need to make sure that we have our fake Ethereum. I don't know if it's gone through yet. Open it up again. It hasn't gone through yet, the transaction is still pending. Click on. Okay, so I just got my Ethereum. I, just, I basically just waited and just kept refreshing, connect. All right, so now I can see my one Robston ETH. I actually request another one because I you know, was unsure if I got it. So I should have two here, ideally. Okay, so after that, the next step is we need, we need to get our contract. We need, get our, we need to get our code so that we can make our own coin. In order to do that, I have a GitHub that I modified from someone else's um, to make it more family friendly. So, um, I'll put the link in the description. So come here, click my coin, copy all of this. 
and then paste that into a code editor. Again, I'm using Visual Studio, and I paste that. I, you know, I paste, make a new file, name it mycoin or whatever you want to name it. Sol for solidity, and I it won't have any syntax highlighting like this unless you have the extension. So click right here and type in solidity, and then get this one. Solidity by Juan Blanco, and then you click install, and then you'll have the, the stuff. So all this stuff in the green is comments. It's basically not not code. It doesn't do anything. So let's scroll down a little bit here. So right here at 102 contract, you want to name it something. So I'll call this uh, Josh contract. Make sure that these match. And then a symbol, this is what you would want for like, like this on the stock market, you know, everything has a symbol. So I'm going to call it, um, we'll call it dev coins or I don't know. Um, dev life coins. Yeah, let's call them that. And then these will be developer life. And so then we have decimals 18. So the way this works is you have 18 decimals, which are the how small each coin can be divided into in terms of like a whole. So you can have one, you can have 0. 0.000001 of a token or up to however many decimals you specify, uh, however many decimals you specify. So right now I have 50,000 and then 18 decimals behind that. So you would come here, so you know, 50, 100, 500, 5,000, 50,000, and then there's 18 decimals here. So how many coins you want is, so it'd be like that. So I have 50,000 and then 18 decimals behind it. I think 500,000 tokens, or maybe, yeah, let's do 5 million tokens, 5 million uh, devil coins, <laughs> I guess. And then 18, uh, 18 decimals behind it. All right, so balances. This is going to be the address that this coin gets put into once it's created. So we need to go back to my Ether wallet and get. So we come over here if you wallet info, connect with your MetaMask if it's asking you. Take your address and then come back into your visual code. Paste this in here and then also paste it in here. So now it goes to your wallet, your account when the coin is created. Save that. I don't think there's anything else in here that I need to mess with. Yeah. Um, this is just make sure that contract Josh, con Josh contract and function Josh con or whatever contract, whatever you choose to name it on 102 and 115, make sure they match. Um, tr try and keep your symbol short um, and then yeah, for the name you can name it whatever you want. Okay, so fantastic. Now we need to take all of this code, so highlight it, control A, and then copy it. And then we need to go to remix.ethereum.org. And it's gonna come up with this pre-made Ethereum code. So just highlight all that, delete it, paste your stuff in here. So make sure that's working. Have auto compile on up here in the right. Start compile. Okay, so if, if there's some yellow stuff on the side, that just means there's some deprecated stuff, some old stuff, but there's no errors and it still functions. All right, so now we need to go to, uh, we need to go to details, click details. Actually, hold on. You need to highlight the coin. Um, so the coin is going to be called Josh contract. So go to Josh contract or whatever you, whatever you named it manually, click that then click details. And then you're gonna have byte code here. And then you're gonna have object, opcode, source map, link references. You want the object and you want the stuff on the right of the object. So double click on that and it will highlight everything. Copy that, so control C. Come back to my ether wallet now. We wanna go on a different tab called contracts. And then we wanna click deploy contract. Paste in your byte code. Gas limit should automatically update. Come up here to the top. Put a zero and an X. Should, okay, it should still update. Great gas limit. And then how would you like to access your wallet? Because this is where you know the coins are gonna go. So click MetaMask, 
click connect, sign this transaction, click deploy contract. Yes, I'm sure, make this transaction. And so then take this gas limit here, copy it. Um, your little MetaMask notification thing will pop up. So then paste that into there, new contract, right? So then click submit. Yep, you have been broadcast to the network. View my transaction. Hey, so right now it's pending, that's good. So this should be done in just a couple of seconds. Okay, so one thing I wanted to add real quick. So after you click deploy and submit on your MetaMask pop-up that happens, it'll pop up down here and you can click view transaction, but I don't want people to get confused and think that's the only way to see that. You can also come up here and click on the Fox and then you'll see the contract that you just deployed and then you can click on this here and that, that again will take you to this section, um, to this new website, etherscan.io. Block height still pending, so basically it's just going on the chain, on the test blockchain. And if this is successful, that means we can verify our contract as working and then we can get these tokens. So I'm just gonna refresh again. This should only just take uh, just a second. So uh, I will cut back to when this, I refresh this and it's green and then uh, we can continue. Okay, so I just refreshed again. This transaction has been included into block number whatever and will be reflected in a short while. So that means when that block is finished, then I can see that this transaction has been completed, which is kind of how the blockchain works. If you didn't know, there's a block and a block and a block and a block and a block. So every block is connected. And so when one block, all right. So anyways, <laughs> as I'm talking, it finishes and we can see that we have 5 million ERC developer life tokens. What you wanna do is come up here to this contract, click it, and then come over here to contract code then click verify and publish. All right, so now we're here, contract address, contract name. This is the part where you go back to your IDE or Remix. I'm gonna go back to my Visual Studio code here and I'm gonna find where I named it, Josh Contract. Copy that, paste that in there. Select your compiler. So to find the compiler, we go back to remix.ethereum.org and then we come over here to settings and then current version. So this is what we compile around 4.21 DFE 3193C. Come back over here, uh, 4.21, yep. So that's the one optimization. We wanna put no. And uh, then we enter the solidity contract below. So you can go to your IDE again here or you can come up to Remix. Anyways, just highlight the code and you wanna paste it, paste it in here. No, I'm not a robot. Verify and publish. Successfully generated. Okay, so now if we come up here, theoretically, we should have the dev coins. Tokens, add token. So find the token contact address. So in order to do that, we contract address right here. Click that. We can see the contract address. Copy this. And since we set it to go to our wallet, when we add this token inside of our wallet here, so click tokens, add token, click that. Oh, okay, so the symbol automatically updated. Yep, 18 decimals, click add. Oh, now I have 5 million tokens. So we just created, I mean, we just created a token and now we have it inside of our wallet, inside the test network. And so now I can send these to other wallets on this network. So um, I'll put my test network address in, uh, in the description below. And when you do this, send me some of your coins. If you make a bazillion or a trillion, go ahead and send me some of your coins. That would be super cool. Uh, let me just demonstrate how to do that real quick. Send ether and tokens connect with MetaMask, click connect, and then we can show all tokens. So we wanna add a custom token over here. That is again where we would take this contract address. So remember, you can find that from here, contract address, and then it'll be up, up here at the top. So highlight that, and then uh, my Ethereum wallet, 
paste that in there. We know the symbol, dev life. It has 18 decimals because that's what we set in our code. Click save, click load. Okay, so we have 5 million there. And then um, basically this is my address. So you would take someone else's address and you paste it in here. You click how many coins you want to send. Gas data doesn't really matter because um, this is a test network. But then you click generate transaction and then they would show up. They would show up here. Uh, you can also see what kind of coins you have if you go over here or you go to view wallet info or actually you can just take your account address, come over here to this ether scan, paste that in there. So this is my wallet and you can see that I have 5 million coins here. So this, the website is called etherscan.io or robston.etherscan.io, so the test network. And then you can see that um, basically I'm, the token holder, my address, owns 5 million of these. And the reason that this is public is because it's the blockchain and that's how the blockchain works. So I'm gonna hop back out. Um, send me some of your tokens. That'd be super cool. So that's how you make a cryptocurrency. It's not actually that hard. Now again, this is on the fake network as you've seen. And if you want to do this on the real network, essentially you just need to have Ethereum and you need to be able to spend some of that Ethereum to push it onto the main network. But the entire process is the same. You can make your own coin. You can send them to other people that have Ethereum wallets pretty much because an ERC20 token goes to any Ethereum wallet. And uh, you know, send me what you made. That'd be cool. If you guys follow this and you made a coin, put my address, I'll pin it as a comment. You guys can send me the coins that you made, you know, Dave coins or YouTube coins, whatever. That'd be cool. Anyways, if you liked this video, thought it was helpful, hit the little subscribe button. Me and my doggos would appreciate that. And, uh, you know, leave a like or tell me what you think about this video. You know, give me your opinion on it. We have a Discord while I was hanging out in the Discord. I say that exact phrase every time. But it's true. We're, we're, we're always pushing each other to do better in there. And we would love to have you. So the link for the, the, link for the Discord is in the description below. So be sure to join us. I'm always hanging out there. If not, send me an email or just, you know, whatever. I appreciate you watching. So I'll see you guys in the next video.